Bonjour à tous and welcome to Like a Parisienne. This are my new series on YouTube where I love to celebrate our natural beauty and I love to celebrate the city of lights, Paris. In today's video, I'm going to be creating the Parisian makeup look for holiday 2023. We're going to focus on very glowing skin and a bold lip. We're going to focus a lot on skincare. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and if you enjoy beauty talks, please consider subscribing. I would love to welcome you to our beauty community. And if you're returning, welcome back, dear friends. Thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for spending time with me i truly appreciate your time when you choose to watch my videos and let's go ahead and get started so for holiday 2023 i wanted to create a look that is going to be quite glowing we are going to focus on the skin so the skin is going to be wow absolutely amazing and we're going to pay more attention on the skincare i'm going to go ahead and start with my skincare and as we go along i'm going to be using mostly luxury beauty products but as we go along i'm going to share with you some affordable options that i really like just as much as my luxury makeup and skincare I'm gonna start my skincare with a new discovery that I found actually in the Lancome event calendar. I absolutely love this toner and I'm going to make sure to write all of the products. I'm going to list all of the products in the description box. I love to start my skincare routine with this toner and I find that it really has changed the way my makeup applies. I like to use it with the cotton pad and then I'm going to use a little bit on my fingertips and rub it in my face and I find that after I use this one just my skincare and absorbs so much better. Next moving on to my Genifix serum and I have this one from the Lancome Advent Calendar but this is a product that I purchase on a regular basis and I really like it. I really love how it works on my skin it's, and I think you can already see the beautiful glow that my skin starts to get. Next I'm moving on to my eye care and for my eyes I like to use a Veen eye cream. I find that this one is really useful for my uh, the, for the fine lines under my eyes. They're not that visible but when I apply concealer they might become visible. I find that this product really helps to plump up the fine lines under my eyes so I like to use it. I have dry under eye area, so I'm going to be using also the Guerlain Double R Eye Serum. It um, has this kind of consistency. This one is a lot. It's um, way too much, but the pump is so generous. I wish I could squeeze. I always try to squeeze half a pump. So this product helps to illuminate the under eye area as well. So I like it especially for morning skincare. And because I have too much, I'm also going to apply a little bit on my smile lines and also here on my forehead, just because the pump squeezes out too much product. So I don't want to waste it. And next for my moisturizer, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite Sika Plast Gel B5. I'm using just a little bit from the La Roche-Posay because um, Otherwise, it's going to make my foundation slippery, but I really like this product to lock in all the moisture and it also feels very calming on my skin. I'm applying this on my face and on my neck as well. Now, before I start with my makeup application, I'm going to do a little massage. This massage tool is from a Sisley um, eye cream that I uh, used to have and I just kept the massage tool. You can do this also with your fingertips if you don't have this massage tool, but make sure that if you're doing a facial massage, I always like to do a facial massage, especially when I'm doing a, let's say if I'm waking up early in the morning, if I feel like I'm a little bit puffy or just to prevent puffiness, I like to do a little facial massage, but just make sure to have one of these tools so that you don't pull the skin. Or if you do not have this tool, you can use your, fingers. So what I like to do is just do this kind of motion under my eyes because I find that it somehow helps to de-puff the area. So just this is what I'm going to do. But always make sure that you have some kind of product or you can use some ice globes. I have shown ice globes before but right now 
what I do regularly uh, lately, what I have been doing is just using this tool. I find that it really helps to deep up the skin overall. I always do a little massage here as well. I always need a little sip of espresso. I like to have some coffee when I'm having uh, when I'm filming my videos. Moving on to the makeup part of this video and I like to use this Chanel balm. This is the Balm Essential, and I like to apply this one generously right here where I want to highlight my face because I find that it helps to give my face this kind of a glow from within. I'm gonna apply a little bit here as well. If you don't have this one you may use just a little bit of face oil, but the teeniest, tiniest amount of face oil. So not even a drop, but place a little bit on the tips of your fingers, rub it in and then apply it. This is going to help usually foundation to blend so much better. Of course, try this one first because it all depends on the foundation that you're using sometimes. Some oils might not work with all foundations. My favorite face oil, like a beautifying product that is going to give me the glow and that I mix with foundations is the Nux oil. This is the only one that I actually like and that doesn't ruin the foundation but once again when you are using oil it's going to be very essential to use just a little bit otherwise it's going to make your foundation slippery and unpleasant and less long lasting so i'm going to apply a thin layer even though this is going to be a a holiday makeup look i still want to be myself, I still want here to celebrate our natural beauty and I would say do not cover completely your face with uh, very heavy foundations. Use a nice lightweight foundation for all over the skin and after that conceal wherever you need and do not completely photoshop your face, okay? I would like to give you some confidence that you are beautiful just the way you are. I know that here probably I'm going to repeat myself but first the first priority is going to be your skincare. So always take care of your skin, spend more money and more effort on your skincare and less money and less effort on your makeup. I really want to send a message here to enjoy your natural beauty, embrace your natural beauty. You are beautiful just the way you are. And when you're creating even a holiday makeup look, even a special occasion makeup look, do not try to completely Photoshop yourself. Do not try to completely erase all of the freckles, or all of the little spots that you have on your face because this is who you are. And if you have some sunspots, pigmentation, well, this is just the beautiful memories that you have, uh, probably from vacations that you've spent with your families. We all age, we all are going to have some sunspots somewhere here and there. We're all humans, so just enjoy who you are and embrace your natural beauty. Makeup is there just to enhance what you already have, not to change who you are. And yes, why would you erase the beautiful memories that you have with your family? Why would you erase your history? Just enjoy it, because your skin is going to keep all of the memories. Um, maybe you have a few wrinkles. Okay, so what? You have kids. Your kids give, gave you those wrinkles or you have grandchildren that gave you those beautiful memories and a few wrinkles here and there. So what? You have a life. We all have some kind of imperfections here and there, so don't try to erase them completely and Photoshop them because they are beautiful. And... I'm going to fill in my brows just very quickly. Now, the reason why I never use uh, affordable foundations, I have one foundation, affordable foundation, that I absolutely love, adore. It's from Max Factor. I'm going to write it here because I forgot the name. Was it like a, something with the hyaluronic acid? It is so beautiful, so amazing. Um, I would wear this one, but we don't have the right shade. So the reason why I never show, never wear affordable foundations is that they never sell the right shade. For me, let's say in the US, when I've been into the US, uh, you guys have such amazing, like in the drugstore, you can literally find all foundation shades and it's so much more uh, easier. It's so much easier to shop 
affordable beauty, but in Europe it's not like that. You usually have very limited shade, ra shade range. I cannot talk. Shade range of affordable beauty. Normally I don't bother with concealer, but this time it is going to be a special occasion. So that's why I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. I like to use a small brush when I'm applying concealer because it helps me to apply concealer just on the places where I need and this is where I need. So if you are Caucasian like me, you might need to conceal here unless you are in your early 20s. You might find that you may have darkness right here, right in the inner corners of the eyes. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of the concealer on my eyelids just to even out the skin tone of my eyelids. So this is where I'm applying the concealer precisely with the brush and then I am going to use a sponge to blend this into place. I'm going to set my face, just the center of my face with a Givenchy loose powder. This is my favorite all time holy grail loose powder because it helps to, really helps to erase pores. And I don't use concealer on a daily basis because the skin under the eyes is so thin, it's, it ages very quickly and the signs of aging show first under the eyes. So that's why I try to avoid to use heavy concealers under the eyes. So I'm usually going to apply a little bit of foundation and really uh, look at your under eye area and think whether you need a concealer or not on a daily basis. Right now I'm applying concealer. I used the Chanel Sublimash concealer because this is the one that I currently have and um, I want to use it up. But when you're using concealers, try to, for everyday use, try to use something that's quite light for under the eyes because I find that this is what ages you. We're moving on to eyes and for eyes, I'm going to be using one of my all time favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is the Sophisticate from Charlotte Tilbury. It has four colors that I think work on all skin tones. And it's so beautiful, such a beautiful, sophisticated eyeshadow palette. I'm going to start with this color here, the soft brown. I'm going to take it on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply this color into the crease. I'm going to apply lightly this color in the crease, but only the outer part of my crease. Just like that, and then I'm going to get the grayish color here below. This is my favorite. I'm going to probably get a little bit more precise brush. I'm going to write down the brushes that I use. Taking a little bit of color and then I am taking the color here on my arm, on my hand, because I don't want to end up with too much color. And I'm going to place this color in the crease and a little bit above the crease. And just keep the color on the outer part of my eye, the outer part of my crease. If you have hooded eyes, just make sure to go above the crease, to place this color above the crease, not right in the crease, because this is going to help to lift the hooded eye. Next, I'm taking the cream color here. This is like a, should we call it a bone color? And I'm going to apply this one just with a big brush all over the mobile eyelid and up to the crease. One last time, a little bit of the grayish color. I'm going to go over and blend. Next I'm going to line my upper lash line and I'm going to keep the core eyeliner close to the close to the roots of my lashes. This is going to be just to define my lash line and it's going to help to open up the eye just a little bit. I'm not going to be too precise because I'm going to smudge the line after that. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I really love this eyelash curler from Refra. I'm going to make sure to list it in the description box and then I'm going to apply my favorite mascara, 
My favorite mascara is Le Volume de Chanel, but you can use a, I have a, an affordable Maybelline mascara because mascara is a product that you have to change on a regular basis. So in case you want to save some money here, I have a great option for affordable mascara from Maybelline that works just as beautiful. And I like to apply two coats of mascara for a more special occasion look because I like my lashes to be natural, but at the same time, I prefer them to be bold. So the first time I'm going to apply the mascara all along the lash line and then the second time I'm just going to focus on the ends of the lashes, the mids and the lengths of the lashes just to create the lashes the way I want them to look. I'm going to use the brush to separate the lashes and to build up a little bit more product on the places where I want and the Le Volume de Chanel mascara is perfect for that. You can use, if you want, two different mascaras. I have a video where I show you the Italian way to use mascara. I'm going to make sure to link it here in case you want to see that. This is my favorite way to use mascara to create this bold lash, um, natural bold lashes. Now, I have quite long lashes on my lower lash line, which the camera is not going to show and they are not visible on camera, but in real life, they are very visible. They are quite long. If you do not have long lower lashes, you may use a little bit of brown eyeshadow, let's say this one, depending on your skin tone or this one, and you can apply just a little bit of color on the lower lash line, just to create the illusion that you have lashes there. And you can do that either with an eyeliner brush or with a sponge applicator. I'm going to use a small brush here to show you. can just dot a little bit of color here. I never like to apply eyeliner. Most of the time I prefer not to apply eyeliner on my lower lash line. I'm going to be wearing a bold red lip and that's why I'm going to apply the lipstick first and after that I'm going to apply the blush because it, the lip color is going to show me how much blush I need and for a blush I'm going to use something different. The lipstick that I'm going to use today is the iconic Dior red lip color in 999 and I'm choosing the finish velvet because I think that it's perfect to create this cushiony beautiful lips. Um, this is a medium red color which is muted um, and I think that it's one of the timeless red colors and if you want to save some money on a red lipstick let's say if you uh, feel shy to wear a, a red lipstick on a regular basis and you want to save some money and you're not sure how you're going to accept yourself with a red lip I would say go ahead and try wearing a red lipstick you might be surprised how good it looks I think that the red lip looks beautiful on everyone so I have an affordable version of this Dior lipstick, which is very similar to the Dior lipstick. And this one is from Maybelline. It's the ultimate. I'm going to write it in the description box. It's number 199 more berry. And this is a very long lasting red lip color as well. Okay guys, so this is the Maybelline, this is Dior. Dior is a little bit paler actually. It doesn't look that pale on my lips, but it swatches a little bit paler. And then another iconic red that I really love is from Clé de Peau. This is Legend of Rouge. I'm going to swatch it here next to Dior. So you can see that these three colors, these are some of my favorite reds. I have lipstick all over my fingers, but all three colors I think are beautiful for the holiday season and for a holiday lip. In terms of how they feel on the lips, I would say that the my favorite in terms of feel on the lips is going to be the Clé de Peau because it is a soft matte color that is not drying on the lips and I don't need to use a lip balm on my lips. Then the Dior Velvet is absolutely gorgeous, but I'm usually going to apply just a touch of Nivea lip balm on my lips, on the center of my lips, so that my lips are not going to get dry. And then the Maybelline color feels the most drying on the lips, so that's why I'm going to apply always a lip balm before using this one. It's very long lasting other than that. And I do that because I have very sensitive lips. If you do not have sensitive lips, the color is gorgeous. The stain power is absolutely amazing. I would say that this is the most long lasting out of the three, but I always use it with a little bit of lip balm underneath because it is a little bit um, drying on my lips. It's definitely, I cannot use it alone on its own. Now for today's look, I decided to go with the Clé de Peau color actually.
next moving on to my face I'm going to be using my Chanel cream bronzer I'm going to be using my Chanel cream bronzer in medium because I want to sculpt my face a little bit and um, this is my favorite brush for cream products cream bronzers cream blushes also liquid blushes I'm going to make sure to list all of uh, my favorite brushes in the description box. This one is from Refra and I find that it's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and use this also on my cheeks a little bit, onto my nose, right here, just to bring a little bit of color to my face. Then I'm going to add a touch of blush and this is my favorite blush. It's a beautiful nude blush. This one is from Dior and it's one of my all time favorite colors. I really like this one because it has this gorgeous nude color. It's very hard to find this kind of color. For highlighter, I'm going to be using Clay de Peau because this one is very subtle. And at the same time, it is a powder highlighter, which is always a benefit for me because I feel like I have more control with powder highlighters, especially for special occasions. I may use a little bit here. Okay guys, we're almost ready. I have two more steps. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of highlighter. This one is from MAC. I'm going to apply right here on my shoulders because my shoulders are visible with this outfit. So for the festive season, I always like to apply a little bit of highlight on my shoulders just to add that extra glow and I'm also going to go all along my arm because it looks very beautiful when the light hits your arm it just looks so much more beautiful and the final touch is going to be my fragrance and I'm choosing a fragrance that celebrates the Parisian, a Parisian love story at night. This is Tresor Midnight Rose. It's one of the most Parisian fragrances in my collection. It is such a gorgeous, seductive combination of raspberry, rose, jasmine, peony on a cedarwood and musk base. This is one of the one of my most complimented perfumes of all times and it always reminds me a Parisian evening. This is not a fragrance that I would wear for an office. It's definitely a fragrance that I would wear when I want to stand out from the crowd and it gets me so many compliments. This was not a new perfume and I know that not many people mention it, but I think that it's so underrated. I've always been a huge fan of Lancome's fragrances. I think that uh, their perfumes are incredibly well done and they are quite affordable for what they offer in terms of quality. And this one in particular, it's so well blended. It's such a beautiful Parisian evening romance. This is what this perfume represents to me and I think that it's perfect for a festive look and for a holiday evening. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to recreate this look or to create something similar using only affordable makeup products because I have been shopping lately and there are a lot of very, very good affordable makeup products, but I'm not sure if you are going to be interested in something like this. So please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to share this video with a friend. I would love to see our community growing with people who like to celebrate natural beauty and who enjoy simple everyday makeup looks and who enjoy to celebrate who they are and thank you so much for watching like a parisienne i'm going to see you in my next video bye